Moving on to the next walking stick, uh, as described in the uh, fire walking stick video, uh, we found this other one, uh, structurally sound, uh, just had a little bit of water damage sitting there at the on the forest floor during the latest walk. Straight, very lightweight, it's not ash like the other ones, and the cracks uh, filled it in with a silver tinted epoxy. Uh, we're going to see how that turns out. Um, I don't know if it's light wood or dark staining like you see here. Uh, underneath, once I start sanding, I'll find out just to see if this uh, silver is going to be a contrast or not. It's got a good length, nice and straight. We're going to uh, first take off all these branches, hand sand them down, get something smooth, and then we'll see what we do. Are we going to do a little spiral twist, maybe a... Uh, Wood spirit carving on top? Not quite sure yet. It's going to be nice though. So we've sanded down the stick, taken off all the, uh, the bark and dirt, and uh, some very interesting patterns are coming out of it. Uh, really nice, you see the infill where we did with the silver epoxy. And you see, it's got some view there, some really nice details in the grain. It's quite a light wood, but... It's going to look really nice. Seems to be a good spot for the handle right there, right before the bend. And I've laid out where the wood spirit's going to be carved in. And that's what we're going to do next. Just a little wood spirit face up top. So we're going to be putting a rubber foot on the bottom. So what we do is uh, we'll measure the inside diameter, a little under an inch, and uh, use this to start whittling down the bottom using uh, some chisels and files, and we'll fit the foot on.
Hi everyone. So, we have our two coats of teak oil all finished up. We ended up putting the rubber foot at the end. So it's a nice snug fit. The finish came out beautiful. You can see some of the spalting, the different water, uh, water stains it sort of had uh, as the stick was lying in the forest for a while. Uh, nature has produced some amazing art on this. Uh, you see here some of the silver inlay that we did on uh, a few of the surface cracks here. That came out nice. Uh, as soon as we put the finish on it, brightened it up a bit. So they do stand out. And we go up and there's a little wood spirit. Trim the top off. Made it a good height. Now what we're going to do is put the handle on. We're going to do a cord wrap like we did with the uh, fire ash walking stick. Um, I think it's called a, a French, French cleat or French knot. Uh, I'll try and reproduce it for you here on camera, see if it comes out. Um, it'll be put right on here, maybe about four or five inches long. Let's get to it. All right. So we have our power cord here. Melt at the end, put a, uh, let me see if I can get that, just a small knot. Some people don't put the knot at the end, uh, some do. Um, I find it, it prevents it from slipping a bit. So what we're going to do is start off right around where we're going to be putting it. The top of the handle, wrap it around once, come over itself, back underneath. Might not be the easiest to see. And tighten it all up. And it makes a nice, uh, nice lock. Don't be afraid to tighten it pretty good. The tighter the better at this point. This might be a better angle. So we've got that first one tucked in. Now it's going to be a series of hitches. Take it, turn it, flip it around, and feed it through. I got quite a long length here, so bear with me. So you got a loop, and it comes through again. It's uh, sort of like half knots. Really? It slips quite a bit on this finish, but once you start getting a few turns, it holds on. So let me do a few. Wrap it over, make a little cleat, tuck it through, feed it. I think it's a half hitch. No expert on knots. But this one comes out nice as a handle. And you start seeing uh, this little loop that, that's starting to form. And it's going to make a spiral all the way through. Let me do a few and you'll be able to see. So I've done maybe four or five. And you start seeing that diagonal. That little spiral starting to form. So once again you take it. Take the leftover, make a little loop, wrap it around, feed it through the loop. Get all this excess out. Pull it tight, pull it back on itself, keep tightening it. Get all the all the wraps pretty tight. And you see here, get that diagonal forming. It's a nice knot, pretty solid. Let's do a few more.
just kept doing that little half knot all the way and you see that spiral form. What we're going to do afterwards is we're going to wet this down. What happens is the power cord shrinks when it dries and it'll get even tighter. I mean, not that any of this is moving right now. It's all very stiff, but make it even tighter and you can, you can try. Try and do by hand. So with the last knot, you just pull it as tight as you can. We're going to cut it short. And then melt it down. And flatten it out. Melt it on itself if you can. And that forms a lock. There you go. You can do the same up top. Um, I leave this little half knot in. I don't mind it. It gives me a chance to, uh, if ever you have to take it apart, I'll just cut here and it'll wind itself out. But that makes a good solid knot. So there you have it. A little wood spirit. Wood spirit walking stick. The wood came out beautifully. This uh, this water damage, or water damage. It was sitting on a on the forest floor, so all this happened by nature. We have our little silver inlay. Wood spirit carving. And just beautiful wood. Beautiful, beautiful came out. Nice finish. A lot of enjoyment out of this one. So as any true Canadian, I think I've earned myself a Tim Hortons coffee. Thanks for watching, guys.